In the past months, I've seen these headlines again and again. Bird populations are declining. Some species are even disappearing completely. And here in the area where my workshop is, it's not exactly bird friendly either. That really made me think, maybe I can do something about it. So, I decided to start simple, with food. Birds need a reliable source of nutrition, especially in winter. And my idea was, I'll just go and buy a feeder. But when I looked at what was available, I wasn't happy. Most feeders looked like small houses, cute but not functional. They didn't fit my style and honestly I knew I could design something better. Something simple, minimalistic and easy to maintain. So instead of buying one, I went back to my workshop and decided to build my own version. The perfect design bird feeder. The concept is simple, but carefully thought through. Since most feeders are hung up to keep squirrels and mice away, it made sense to use the cord not only for hanging, but also to connect all the parts. The top cone protects the food from rain. The middle section, printed in semi-transparent PETG, makes it easy to see the fill level. And the bottom part is designed as a tray, where birds can comfortably sit and feed. The assembly couldn't be easier. The parts are simply threaded onto a cord, one after another. For outdoor use, the feeder should ideally be printed in PETG or ASA, since PLA can become brittle over time and develop cracks. I chose a matte PETG because it gives the feeder a much more premium finish. A simple knot at the bottom keeps everything in place. Of course, you can print it in any color you like, and I designed it so that the parts also fit on smaller printers, making it easy to build for almost anyone. I wanted the feeder to be tool-free. Just slide the top up, pour in the seeds, and let it drop back down. No screws, no complicated parts. Just the elegance of a simple idea, made possible by 3D printing. Want to build your own bird feeder? All the files and the full build guide are available on my Kofi page. And if you're thinking about getting a 3D printer yourself, make sure to follow I share tips, tricks and upcoming courses to get you started. Now that the feeder is assembled and filled, let's take it outside and hang it up. And afterwards, we'll wrap up with a short conclusion where I'll share the main pros and cons of this design and what it actually cost me in the end. You should place your bird feeder in a spot that's safe from cats and other predators, about 2 meters off the ground, and ideally close to bushes or trees so the birds can retreat quickly. Large glass surfaces should be avoided to prevent collisions, and a semi-shaded spot is best so the food doesn't spoil too fast. In my case, that's not really possible, but I did find a place right outside my workshop where I'll hang the feeder and wait to see if it gets accepted. To keep track of it, I set up this security camera pointing directly at the feeder. It automatically records a short clip whenever there's movement. It can take a while until birds get used to a new feeder, but this way I won't miss the moment and as soon as I get footage, I'll share it on my Kofi page. I'll definitely print another feeder in a different color, so let me know in the comments which color you think I should try next. So let's wrap this up. I'm really happy with how this bird feeder turned out. It's exactly my style and I love the clean, minimal design. But the real question is, apart from looks, is it even worth 3D printing your own feeder? Let's break it down. The total cost of material was just $8.65. With a piece of cord, it still stays under $10. And honestly, I couldn't find any alternative for that price. So it's not only better looking, it's also much cheaper. For me, that's only positives. And hopefully, 
I'll be able to share some birdwatching updates on my Kofi page soon. Thanks a lot for watching. If you don't want to miss the next project, make sure to subscribe. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.